Peace, peace, family. You cooling with the completest. How y'all doing today? Today is February 27th. Yeah, today is my youngest son's birthday. Shout outs to him before we get started. But um, I'm going to keep it real short and sweet today. <clears throat> First off on our list, for real, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness film. It will be releasing May 5th. And trust me, man, there are a lot of huge Easter eggs just in the trailer alone. Um, I expect to see some big introductions, especially for the phase five of the MCU um, universe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, you know, we're going to get it popping like that. But either way, we're going to be getting an introduction from America Chavez. Of course, we're going to see again Wanda Maximoff or... Um, or Scarlet Witch, however, whichever you want to call her. You know, we gonna. I hope we get Shuma Gorath. We gonna get Baron Mordo again. You know, we are gonna get a lot of the cast from um, the first Doctor Strange film to come back to the show. You know, but I expect big things. It's highly anticipated. You know, it might end up doing big numbers, just like Spider Man No Way Home. We don't know. You know, um, but two. You know, we got Star Wars. Boba Fett and the Mandalorian, you know, um, definitely started off a little sh a little slow for some people, but for, you know, for me, I tell everybody to just give it some time, you know, give it some time, and it's gonna always be worth it by the end when it comes to Star Wars, for real. Most of the time, I ain't gonna say always, but either way, um, yeah, there was a lot of, um, I guess there was some mixed some mixed feelings some people were upset about the fact that Boba Fett didn't really focus just on Boba Fett half of the season they um did incorporate the Mandalorian and um Grogu you know and the Jedi's and things like that so I guess that did take a little bit of the fans back but at, like I said it was great beautiful um CGI work beautiful writing um i can't i can't wait until the next installment you know um with obi-wan kenobi you know what i mean that's dropping this summer as well you know that's dropping may 25th um so we going we you know it's, it's a lot going on man but you know it's definitely i'm i'm grateful to be alive for this. you know especially being a fan of star wars being a fan of marvel you know i'm it's just beautiful to see all of this shit come to fruition i'm not gonna lie um, but moving on number three on today's uh, agenda for the show we're gonna be talking about my tv recommendation and my tv recommendation that isn't new um, it came out, I believe, in 2015, um, 2015, 2016. Um, the show was Into the Badlands. Um, if you are into, let's say that you're a fan of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and you are a fan of martial, martial arts films in general, or if you're, let's say that you're a fan of martial arts films that have a bit of a Western or a street twist you know what i mean that's what into the badlands is um it takes place in you know basically um post-apocalyptic time when um society is basically almost to an end um there's new rules politics you know what i mean mostly everyone is trained in martial arts especially the ones that are considered barren or um or shoot, I, I know the names of the other ones, but I'm not going to give you all the details. I need to just go watch the damn show. Um, Clippers, I'm, that's all I'm giving you. They are the ones that you need to look out for, and the story expands so much. It brings fantasy, mysticism. It gives you the... It gives you great choreography. You know, the acting is definitely not bad at all. Um, I enjoy all of the main characters. Um, it's very gory. You know, it's a great show. You know, it's, it, it, there's really no... I, I'm upset that they didn't continue it after the third season. Um, but either way, it's still a great thing. Great watch. It's a great watch. And um, honorable mention, Warrior is a great watch as well. It has kind of the same feel. But it's a Western. It has the Western take. It was written by Bruce Lee before he died. Um... 
and it's just, it's got great choreography as well. The story and writing is great too. Um, now it doesn't have like all the mysticism and stuff like that because it's actually historic, like history based. You know what I mean? Um, based on like uh, shit, I can't even really say the early 1900s. I want to say. Um, when the Asians and everybody started coming to America and things like that, they started settling and things. You know, it's a great, great show. Great show. But Into the Badlands, go check it out. It's still on Netflix. You know what I mean? I don't know how long they're going to keep it up there. It's been up there for a good few years now, but, you know, you know how streaming has been working lately. You know, they keep it up there, but they eventually take it down. So don't miss out on that greatness. <laughs> but, you know, and I'm a... I got a couple minutes left, and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna unveil my my hauls. Um, you know what I mean. I'm not gonna unveil everything, but I'm gonna unveil some of the ones that I, I appreciate. You know, because they are great stories, and they and um, one of them has became a movie. You know, so going to have ice books. I um, I picked up. Kick-Ass, Volume 1, written by Mark Millar, got to trade, got Kick-Ass 2, this is the prelude to Hit Girl, and I'm going to be showing her comic book soon as well, I hope that they end up making a movie for her, I'm not even going to lie, and, um, Red Hood and the Outlaws, New 52. This is actually a good read. I thought it was much better than I thought it was going to be. Red Hood is definitely um, a character who is interesting. Um, I'm not going to say I follow him because I, I, I haven't. I don't follow him at all. But I have read some of his stories. I have. Um, I, I, I know I, I'm caught up on Jason Todd. You know, I, I just need to keep it going. And I'm going to end up bringing, and I've been doing some reviews. I'm going to start posting my reviews on the Completers group. Um, I'm about to start doing reviews on certain characters, especially their origins. Um, I did, I'm going to be posting Cosmic Ghost Rider. I'm going to be posting Red Hood. I'm going to be posting um, characters like, uh, shit. Um, you know, any, any, really any character that y'all want to recommend, but I'm going to be talking about a lot that are independent, like um, Prodigy or Luther Strode. You know what I mean? They're not independent, but, you know, comic companies that aren't Marvel and DC. I'm going to be getting everybody hip. I already do it on my YouTube. I do read-alongs and things like that. So, you know, you, you go check me out, y'all. But we running out of time tonight. We ran out of time, but um, I thank y'all for tuning in with me. Um, please have a safe night. Have um, a good and productive, productive day whenever you watch this. But remember, love yourself, love your family, and don't stress about the shit you can't control. Peace. Love y'all. I'll